In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down how to beat the cover four in Madden 20. What's up guys, my name is Cody and welcome to my Madden Tips YouTube channel. Basically what my channel focuses on is it is designed to help you improve in Madden NFL 20. So we're going to jump in right now, right into the video. We're talking cover four defense and what I want to do is just kind of give you uh, a, a quick overview as to why cover four is so difficult to beat this year and also some tips and strategies that you can use. Now there's two specific types of cover four that we're going to cover. The first one is, and, and we'll come back to the cover four palms later on, but we're going to talk specifically today about cover four drop from a three down lineman set. The reason is because I think it's the most effective, uh, I think it's the most effective defense in the game. So we're just going to come out in some random play. It doesn't really matter the play that you run out in. We're going to talk about a universal concept, but what I like to do is I like to have some type of post route, some type of out route. Um, either one of those, this play weak flood will work just fine. Why shell cross will work fine, but you can use the play weak flood. And we are in the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook. Now, before we break this down, what I want to do real quick is I want to encourage you guys, if you haven't already, to join my YouTube channel's uh, Discord. The Discord is kind of the place where we talk Madden all the time. We lab together. We uh, I do live streams every night breaking down questions and things like that and then discord members get notified when i go live so again it's just kind of the best place to stay up to date with everything going on in my madden 20 and madden 21 uh youtube channel for as far as tips and tricks go so cover four drop and all we're going to do on this play right here is we're just going to drop back and we are going to take a sack and we're just going to see kind of how the defense plays okay drop back and again, we're just going to take a sack. Now, we're going to go into instant replay. And this is how I lab pretty much all of my plays. I go into instant replay. And I'm just going to look and watch what happens. Watch what happens from cover four. As you can see here, you could possibly fit that out route in right there. You could potentially hit that drag pattern. That out route on the left side looks like it's coming open. But you, it, it might be a little bit of a challenging throw. And then you see, though, you've got that post over the top running wide open. Uh, maybe if I pass led that to the right, that would be a dot. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to come out in. And we're going to try to make this play a little bit better, this cover four. So we're going to shake coverage down. We're going to shake coverage up. And again, you'll see we're just going to let the play run. And we'll throw it away. Or we'll take a sack or whatever. Go back into instant replay and you'll see that basically what we've found is we're looking and seeing how the mechanics of the game work, right? You see the out route on the outside. He doesn't break down on that. That corner on the right side doesn't fall down. You see here, you still have that drag. Watch how the cloud flats defend the out routes a little bit better. You see, I can't really throw the out routes very well. I can't really hit the in route. The, the drag route is, is really the only option. And then late, you see I can get that post route over the top. So now what I'm going to do is just a couple of simple adjustments based off of that principle. So one of the things you have to ask when you're trying to beat a cover is what is the defense trying to take away? Well, in the cover four drop show two, especially if they do this right here, what they're trying to do is they're trying to stop out routes and roll out corners. That's really the, the idea here for this defense. So it doesn't make a lot of sense to run an out route or a roll out corner against something like this. Now, again, if we're just specifically trying to beat cover four and we know that's what they're doing so what i like to do is i like to take robinson and just put him or excuse me tyree kill and i could just motion him to the right or to the left and you see that's going to put him on this little in route right here this little basic in route from there i pretty much leave this play as is but you see i have an in route with in combination with this deep post and at the snap of the ball what you're going to see is now I'm able to hit that in route with a pass lead up over the yellow zones. Now what's likely to happen is they're likely to use or defend that in route because they're going to try to take away kind of your biggest strength against their or your most your most immediate uh, advantage route. So one of the things that they might do is they might say, well, Bobby Wagner is their user and I'm just going to take away Tyree Kill's route. Well, from there, what you're going to see is, and remember, we were talking about pool routes, having pool routes. So if we take Robinson and put him on a comeback, we know about Madden 20 that comeback routes are really effective as pool routes. So at the snap of the ball, what you're going to see is now we can pass lead that post route all the way over the top 
and you can see we get that one play score against cover four the in route and the comeback route combination and in fact you don't even really have to do that i mean honestly if you just ran this play stock you'll see here because he's coming all the way across the field that safety has no one to guard and so he's just kind of sitting there really guarding nobody effectively now there's ways to make this more effective and there's other things that you can do off of this like one of the things that i like to do is i do a simple mesh concept so something like this right here this is a very simple concept everybody knows how to do this um, we're just putting the two slot receivers or we're just putting the two underneath guys on drag routes and then we're going to motion Tyree Kill on the line of scrimmage, and then we've got that deep in route on that right side to pull down that, that uh, deep blue, and you'll see here we're able to get it over the top once again against that cover four drop. This is a very simple one play score, uh, and again, you can do hot routes off of this to make this even more effective, but if you're struggling, if you're, if you're facing someone that is running, you know, one of the biggest things that I've been having a little bit of struggle with lately is facing someone that runs a lot of max coverage defense. And so this little route combination here in the Arizona Cardinals playbook, it's really just the post route. Really, it's that's the only thing I'm looking for. I'm looking for a really, really solid post route against that coverage. Really, preferably from the wide guy. It can be from the short guy. Uh, it doesn't really matter. One of the things I'll show you here real quick is if I motion Sammy Watkins in, you're going to see he's going to come into a compressed set right here. You see that right there? That little motion right there? And now what's going to happen is basically we've set up a shot play, essentially. We've got that same route combination on the right side that we had last time. And you'll see here now, snap of the ball, cover four, drop, show two. And you'll see how, again, you're going to get that one-on-one -on -one over the top. You see how when you motion him in to a compressed set, it does change the dynamic a little bit. So you do need to be aware of that. But this is a very, very simple, uh, very, very simple uh, cover four beater, cover four beating concept, something that's really going to work every single year. As you can see here, if it doesn't work, we can check it down to the comeback. As you can see there, we've got that nice pull route. So that is how to beat cover four in Madden. And real quick, if you guys don't know the Arizona Cardinals playbook, I broke that playbook down um, in my competitor's guide real quick. Uh, on the competitor's guide basically it's a madden 20 and a madden 21 full offensive and defensive guide rolled into one so basically you're going to get a copy today of my madden 20 competitor's guide if you buy it the link is in the description of this video um you're going to get that competitor's guide but what i want you to know is what we're going to do is you're gonna get $15 for the offense, $15 for the defense, but if you buy the bundle that's in the description, it's only gonna be $25, uh, and you're gonna get an offense and a defense. We're actually updating those every single week until Madden 21, the first week out. So essentially what's gonna happen is once Madden 21 comes out, everybody that purchased that Madden 20 competitor's guide is gonna get a Madden 21 competitor's guide uh, sent to them 100% for free. So if you're looking to take your game to the next level and you want to start right now i want to encourage you to pick up that madden 20 competitors guide because there's no risk you're going to get that madden 21 free update coming here in just a sh few short weeks so thank you so much for watching this video if this video kind of spark plugged you into wanting to know how to get a little bit better at madden 21 and at madden 20 there are some videos that are coming up on your screen and really the best way to stay most up to date with my channel is to join our discord my discord link is in the comments or in the comments or the description of this video be sure to click that and join and once we get to 100 members in our discord server we are going to be releasing a 100 free offensive and defensive ebook for our discord members only so we see you guys on the discord server lock in